Hey everybody, Buffjuice here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, last episode, I won my Holy War against the Pope, because, of, of course, last uh, two episodes ago, I restored the... I mended the schism, which made Catholicism a heresy. And the Pope, surprisingly enough, was not fond of converting back, so I Holy Warred him. I don't actually think he currently has... If I just go into... Not here. Uh, this county... Where's the Pope? This guy. What land does he hold? He owns the Prince Bishopric of Spoleto, and he re he's residing in Rome, but he's not actually in Rome. Um, so I could actually usurp this, can't I? I might do so, but only once I've won this war, which I'm pressing for that guy here, the Duke, the Count of Spoleto, because he is a claim, he is a claimant for the county and duchy of Genoa. Um, so that's what I'm going for right now. Once I've got that, I'll ha start having to deal with. Potentially the Knights Hospitaller down here, who control that barony. I don't think they control any any others. No, they don't. They control a single barony. Um, so I'm going to have to deal with them as well, for two reasons. One, they're an off, they're a Catholic holy order, and I can't be dealing with that. And uh, I could arrest the Varangian God. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to threaten them to keep out of all factions either. I don't think they can actually plot. Uh, although if they can, that makes a lot of sense because they normally can. And there's a host war, which I didn't realise. I, I did, but I forgot. Conquest of Frakesia. Uh, is that it? Where's, where's Frakesia? Oh, it's there. It's a single county. You've gone to war with the biggest empire in the world for a single county. Dream bigger. Well, whatever. How many do has he got? He's got 19,000. That's a fair amount. I'll raise the Branking Guard. I'll raise up all my vassals. Everyone on the mainland. Mainland Greece. You can group in Constantinople. Everyone over here can go also to Constantinople. Have them go the long way around. And these guys up here can be disbanded because they're not going to do much. Sorry about that, guys. My phone just went off. Anyway, let's win these wars. So, this army, this mass army is gathering Constantinople. That's all fine. Oh, he's instituted how quite authority. Huh. Good for you. I've sort of ignored Rum since I started taking the land because it's not really a priority. I, I, it would be great to wipe them out. But that's a lot of truces to deal with, and it's just not worth it. I don't need to. I got the land I wanted from them. Oh, they're besieging land down for reasons unknown only to them. Because it's not actually part of their war goals, so I don't think they're going to get that. I don't think. Surrender. No. So it's not it's not tribal invasion. They don't take all the land they've, they've occupied. Oh, and my truce with the Knights of Stars is almost over. So that's working out quite well. 100% war score for this. Lovely stuff. He gains it. So if I now go to this, it should say... Duchy of Genoa is completely controlled. Good stuff. Can I create the duchy? Oh, it needs to be... Oh no, this guy controls it. Duke of Genoa. I'll go to this guy. Make him Duke of Genoa. And make this. Actually, no. I'll leave the Pope is. I'll leave the Pope is land. I will, however, raise the Sicilian fleet. Head to Genoa. All these guys can group in Rome, and they can be picked up. And there's just a quick, quick auto save there, which is fine. It's just making sure I don't crash potentially. Hopefully, hopefully not. Someone's converted. Good stuff. Group everyone onto the boats. They can stop in Rome. Everyone can group there. Go back on the boats. And they can drop off there. In the meantime, this army can move into Nikea. Into the Duchy of Nikea, not the actual county of Nikea. It's a bit too close to the enemy army to uh, be un uncombined that close. I remember when I first started playing this game, 
I didn't realize you could merge armies and I would just have everyone attached to each other and literally just throw them against the Scottish forces because I was actually playing as uh, Sudria in like the 1066 start. I found that really fun. I had no idea what I was doing. It was great. And much similar to that, I still don't really have much idea what I'm doing. Which is which is uh, nice. Good to see that I, I, I there's there's consistency. And I'm so everyone will chase them. Because why not? Just force them back. Not one step back. And that army's dealt with, so now we've got 35,000 guys against 6,000 guys. Run if you want. Oh, they, have, they did. Damn it. Chase them down. 27 June. Ah, Talib Borders. I love them when they're in my favour. So there we go. I'll march them back over the border and disband them. Good stuff. Disband them. And end this war. And banish. There we go. Good for me. That went, that went well. Make sure all my other vassals on my levies are down. Cool. And where are you, Hospitalis? There you are. Amalfi I don't need. Matala I don't need. And San Borgio di Palatani. That's what I want. Nothing else I need, is there? Uh, Ferrera, Sicily, Jerusalem. Yeah, that's fine. So, where is it? Here it is. Declare war for that. Actually raise my vassal troops there. And this guy wants to be my new marshal. He's better. So actually, yeah, he can be. Go you. You asked for something, you got it. There's no one better, is there? There is someone better. Okay, you, you, had, you had your chance. But there's someone better. I march this the Varangian Guard to the coast to get picked up. To go and assist in the war. But it should be over fairly quick. In fact, I'm not sure if the hospitals have been raised. Actually, no, they can't have been raised. They don't have any... Uh, well, maybe they have. Because there are some Catholics still around, and they are probably being holy ward by the Orthodox. Now, what's interesting? Oh, it's a oh, it's a kingdom title. Okay. I was looking at that then. It looked like Scotland had an Aztec sigil, but was actually not Aztec at all. Okay, so the Welsh are involved in this. Uh, Aquitaine is Orthodox as well. It's quite interesting to see what converts and what doesn't. Norway stayed Catholic by the look of it. I've had a son. That's not good. That's ruined everything. Sorry about that, guys. My phone just went off, so I've just edited that out. Um, what was I doing? Yes, I was actually... Wasn't involved in that. I was fight. Yes, killing this guy. Taking this barony from the temp... Not temples, the hospitals. Because, for some reason... They control a single single barony, and that just won't do. So that's the plan. Just got my army. Does does indeed. So they can actually, you know, they can they can just disembark because they can because I actually control this land. So I'll get rid of that fleet because I don't need it right now. Unite them because why not? Uh, and otherwise, the there's not much going on. Um. I've got Venice. I basically just need to wait now. Uh, take the baronies that I need to take. I need to Holy War for Tunisia. Or Tunis, sorry. And um, then eventually press a claim for the Holy Roman Emperor. Empire. Uh, and I've done that. So that should be... I shouldn't have disbanded that navy. I need it to go and fight their army. Well, 13,000 guys won't do anything, so just send this army around over there to kill them. Uh, actually, don't think about it. Most of it's the Sicilian army anyway. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So I can go in, I can go on these ships and go via there. So, embark on there. 
Uh, what have they mainly got? They haven't got much heavy cavalry. Ah, oh, sod it. I'm just going to attack them straight off the ships. Why not? Disembarking penalty. Who needs that? Me. I need that. Yeah. They're, they're gone. Oh. Uh. Bison. What? Uh, cast Why? Why? Why did that happen? Who. Did I kill the. No, I didn't. What happened then? Did he die? Yeah. I, I think? I don't know. Something happened, and now the war's not happening. Which sucks. Um, okay, so I'll have to disband them. Have a look over here. This guy again. Why can't I just claim it? I suppose it's not technically my thing, so okay. Fine. I've converted someone to orthodoxy, which is good. And then I'm going to... Well, this is a castle. I might as well take this castle. While I'm here. Raise up the Sicilian army. Have it led by these people. Because I don't want it to lose to 17 guys. Which it could do. If I attack with really low morale. And there's a civil war in the Sultanate of Rum. Oh, that's, that's tasty. I'm kind of tempted to go for that. What's his chances, though? 3,000 versus 30,000. He is literally 10 to 1 in favor. He has... Oh, my God. He's hired so many. Holy crap. I knew he... He's got the... He's got the Gilman. The Gilman? Are they... Oh, it doesn't tell me how many they have. But I didn't think there were that many. So, he must have... There are 15,000 guys, I think, if I remember rightly. So, he must have had... He must have hired somewhere else as well. Fair enough. Very, very ballsy. I mean, completely overkill for 3,000 guys. You'll take more in attrition than you will with uh, actual combat. Where have these come from? Oh, these are these are a retinue. Are they? Yes, they are. Where? I don't. Did I ever left them here since the uh, since the the war? Have, have I really been that neglectful? That's terrible. Okay, so he's just called the Sultan of uh, the Ayyubids in. He's involved in civil war and a decadence revolt. Okay. Can't declare war. I've got uh, levies raised. Basically, I do need to go to war with that guy and reclaim, uh, I think, that mosque. The Mosque of Adalon. That's it. I need to go to war with the largest power in the region for a single mosque. I don't know why, like... We can't just wander in and just go, we're kind of having this. But apparently not. And there's a... Wow. Okay, Cumania did not convert. So Elenia is going to holy war them. Fair enough. I mean, where? what are you actually attacking? Uh, not Valoy. Itil. Itil? Oh, that's going to look horrible. Oh, God, it would be foul. Look at Just imagine that blob on the top. At least go for, like, um, Azov or... or even Sokel. Sokel could actually, would actually be better, to be honest. But, um, fine. Just border gore up. Fine, whatever. Uh, okay. She likes me. I do need to keep an eye on my vassals, because that's the main threat to me right now. Uh, annoyed vassals. So, I need to try and avoid that, if at all possible. I'm actually going to disband this army. Raise it up over here, because, you know, magical teleporting troops. Fantastic. Have them march across into Amalfi. And they should kill them. No problem. It's 1,501 guys versus 25 blokes. That's going to go poorly for the 25 blokes, I think. And, yep, they're very dead. So they can stay there to start occupying that if this does not win it. But it has enforced demands. Wonderful. So, if I just double check this, it should now say that... The Duchy of Sicily is completely controlled. So now, I just need Ferreira. Uh, Croatia. Both of those are under the Holy Roman Emperor. Tunis. And the barony that is not part of my control in Jerusalem. So, next target, I think, is probably going to have to be the Mafusids, Masufids. Because, are they in the... They are fighting their own war. They're winning it. But they have 6,000 guys and total of... 
around about 15,000 during peacetime when they've actually managed to recover. So I'll disband the levies and also though no no they're all resting you um do i have any levies raised anymore no i don't so yep these guys can go to the coast they can embark on the ships and can head there oh, quite a few ships here leech levy of oh is that sicily as well oh, of course it was yes i just moved them i get confused now so now they're here. I have 9,000 odd guys who do not count as levied troops. Head over here and Blitzkrieg, the ever loving shite out of this guy who is apparently sympathetic for everything and is also homosexual. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's an interesting character they've got there. But anyway, let's declare Holy War for Tunis, which is a really good duchy. Land forces in the capital. Majority population of Malta is converted. That's good. Sometimes forget that Malta's actually in this. They've converted the population of Malta, but not the leader. Which is interesting. Uh, yes. Yes, this is what I want. Yes, he's no longer my heir. So I, that means I now need to do some interesting things to try and deal with this kid. Uh, right, I... He must be an adult. Okay, so if he lives to adulthood, I mean, I could imprison him. I'd lose minus 40 opinion with everyone because I've just imprisoned my son. But it would be for the greater good. Croatia, uh, Pannonia. I, I have money for gifts. So what I'm going to have to do now, my wife should be too old to have a kid. So I'm going to have to imprison 100% because he's a he's a fucking infant. He's not going to escape my guards. And um, wait for him to die essentially in prison. It's not a nice way to do it, but I mean, I could execute him but that's just Kinslayer. That's just asking for trouble. So, now I need to deal with my most powerful people who are disliking the fact I've just arrested my kid. Uh, give her a gold. Uh, and a water or any title. No, not a chance. You can have a gift of gold as well. Yeah, likes me more, likes, likes. Uh, Duke of Athens can also have gold. I'm spending so much money on gold. So much money on gifts. Uh, and Croatia, maybe? I'll say, and finally Croatia. Yeah, that'll do. That should cover it. No one else, unless it's everyone else, which it shouldn't be. They uh, they won't be able to have the strength to contest my rule. And I think on level, they're going to try. So I need to get Crete under control. So I'm going to send this guy to scheme in Crete. And then who else is getting involved? Duke of Exarch of Georgia. So get this guy and improve relations in Georgia. In, uh, that's Alania. I picked. I sent him to the wrong place. So resign him. Appoint him again. That's a different person. Stop him leading troops. Although, no, he's not particularly good in leading troops. And improve relations with Georgia. There we go. Good job. Good job, me. So, this army is successfully taking this. Uh, support the blues or the greens. I will go with the blues. And I'm getting gold and prestige. Fascinate. The, the chariot races, the blues and the greens, are incredible. They, they basically helped raise and, dis and like dethrone emperors because it's such a big deal in Constantinople. It's, it's, it's amazing. And I've oh, converted Jerusalem. Well, that's cool. Uh... The, yes, there it is. I was just about to say, when does that trigger? The Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre. The Brotherhood has worked tirelessly to protect Christian holy sites and relics in the Holy Land ever since it was first founded in 313, when the Edict of Milan legalised Christendom throughout the Roman Empire. Um, until recently, the Brotherhood consisted of ordained clergy who maintained and safeguarded these religious sites through largely peaceful means. Not anymore. As the winds of change sweep across the world, this holy order has now become increasingly militarised and their ranks have grown dramatically, to include professional soldiers as well. They have reaffirmed their dedication to protect the Holy Land from heathen invaders, but this pledge is now extended to include the defence of all of Orthodox Christendom, which is basically everywhere now, so that's cool. Um, I could vassalize. I don't know if I actually can vassalize them. Um, I know there's a way of doing it. You can you can give them a du jour holding and then press and then offer vassalization because then they're a du jour vassal of you. That means you can. It's 
interesting to to do, and I may look into that. But I don't really need it. And it's been hired by the Duchy of, of Crimea. Who are they fighting? Oh, they're oh Jesus! They are defending against everyone. Hopefully, they can now win their wars because that would be the greatest time for that to happen for them ever. Um, I may potentially look to press a claim for that because that would make that whole region look much nicer. And that's really what geopolitics should be about. How the borders look and do they look nice. So, 9% war score because I've captured the first holding of the capital. Uh, I'm actually just going to raise my levy there. That's not going to be enough to hold them. So I'll actually disband them. Get rid of this fleet as well because that's just going to annoy people. I don't currently need to annoy them. And I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. I think... Taking into account the uh, the phone, I think I am roughly around about 20 minutes, maybe a bit over. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.